Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important chapter from the Bible as we read Colossians from the King James Version Bible. Let us pray. Lord, lead us, guide us, help us and be with us. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus Christ. Bless us, be with us. Amen. Colossians chapter 1 Paul's greeting to the Colossians Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ who are in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul's thanksgiving for the Colossians. We give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all the saints, because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, of which you have heard before in the word of truth of gospel. Verse 6, which has come to you, as it has also in all the world, and is bringing forth fruit, as it is also among you since the day you heard and knew the grace of God in truth. Verse 7, as you also learn from Epaphras, our dear fellow servant, what is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf? Verse 8. Who also declared to us your love in the Spirit? Paul's prayer for the Colossians. Verse 9. For this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you. Ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Verse 10, that you may have a walk worthy of the Lord, good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Verse 11, strengthen with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long-suffering with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. Verse 13. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. Verse 14. In whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. Christ is preeminent in creation. Verse 15. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all Christians and creation. He is the image of invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. Verse 16. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. Verse 17. And he is before all things, and in him all things consist. Verse 18. And he is the head of the body, the church who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that is, in all things, he may have the preeminence. Christ is preeminent in redemption, for it pleased the Father that in him all fullness should dwell. Verse 20. And by him the reconcile, to reconcile all things to himself by him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, 
having made peace through the blood of his cross. Verse 21. And you who once were alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now he has reconciled. Verse 22. In the body of his flesh through death, the present you to present you holy and blameless and irreproachable in his sight. Verse 22, in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless and irreproachable in his sight. Verse 23, if indeed you continue in the faith grounded and steadfast and are not moved away from the hope of gospel which you heard which was preached to every creature under heaven of which I Paul became a minister. Christ is preeminent in the church. Verse 24 I now rejoice in my suffering for you and fill up in my flesh what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ for the sake of his body, which is the church. Verse 25, of which I became a minister according to the stewardship with God, which was given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Verse 26, the mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations but now has been revealed to his saints. Verse 27. To them God willed is made known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Verse 28. Him we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Verse 29. To this end I also labor, striving according to his working, which works in me mightily. Amen. Here ends the reading of Colossians chapter 1. God bless the reading. As we saw the various places, Christ is preeminent in creation, Christ is preeminent in redemption, Christ is preeminent in church. Yes, beloved, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, and also we see Paul's greeting to Colossians and Paul's thanksgiving for the Colossians and Paul's prayer for the Colossians. Yes, we get guidance, every kind of guidance from the Bible. So let us make it a point to read the Bible every day, beloved. At least give half an hour from the 24 hours to pray and also to read the word of God. For we will get every kind of guidance, blessing and also we will be filled with the joy of the Lord. Yes, for the joy of the Lord is my strength. Nehemiah 8.10 Yes, for a living God is the maker of heaven and earth. Psalm 121 is true as we read. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is a keeper. The Lord is a shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. He will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and for evermore. Hallelujah. Yes, he is the God of the living, not the dead, and all live to him. The words are true, beloved, as we read in Luke 20, verse 38. Also, the word is living, the word is life, the word is spirit. As we read in John 6, verse 63, the word is Jesus Christ. 
the word is living the word is truth revelation chapter 19 the word what is the word it is the word from the bible yes beloved take out the time and receive abundance of blessing as when we read the bible we are speaking to god when we pray and when we read the bible god is speaking to us yes beloved everything is at hand our every question will be answered whether it is your secret question secret problem whether it is the healing that you need whether it is the deliverance you require for the word says in jeremiah 39 two times he will deliver us he will deliver us when the word comes twice it has been done as we read in genesis it speaks in chapter 29 verse 3 and 4 we read that god said to jacob 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 i will make you a great nation it is true beloved today we are israel we are the prince with god we are the daughters of zion yes we are numerous like stars as he promised sarah genesis 18:14 i am the lord your god is there anything too hard for me yes beloved there is nothing impossible for him we have to arise and shine yes as a 60 verse 1 the word is there for you and me for this year as we read the mighty word it's a prophecy for this year in jeremiah it says in 29 chapter verse 11 the word says i know your thoughts i have plans of future hope prosperity peace and welfare for you and me yes beloved everything is for you and me we have to ask and ask our living god and our loving father he is a loving father as we read in isaiah 62 63 64 yes and we are his clay and he is a potter isaiah 64 verse 8 as we submit ourselves in his hands as we surrender ourselves in his hands he will help us to come out of every situation of every kind of problems and every kind of sickness every kind of financial crisis will be gone yes for he has all power and authority matthew chapter 28 even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of jesus of nazareth hallelujah yes let us be encouraged let us walk in his way and let us keep his laws precepts and commands yes beloved he is a king of king lord of lords he is a emmanuel ebenezer yahweh ire yahweh shamma yahweh el shaddai yahweh roi yahweh rafeka eshu nisi eshu masiha malaika malaikim he is a eshua sara shalom yeshu tizit kenu yeshu tazrusi he is a mighty god yes he loves us beloved the words are true yes he is a emmanuel god with us and he is a yahweh ire god will provide genesis 22 verse 40 yes as he provided for abraham yes he will provide to us also yes the words are true i am his witness and i would like to say yes his word is living true and everlasting the word says in matthew 7 verse 8 ask and ye shall receive yes whatever is a request today whether it is for food water bread money my dear brother sister my dear children if it is for the wisdom yes if it is for the peace my dear brother sister jesus christ is the prince of peace he will bless us with peace joy happiness wisdom for these things cannot be purchased with millions of dollars also isn't it he will bless us abundantly beloved yes not meagerly ephesians 320 and psalm 38 verse 6 what do we have to do as the jailer philippian jailer asked paul and silas we read it says in acts chapter 16 from 30 to verse 32 it says that believe in the lord jesus christ and you and your household will be saved take the baptism water baptism and also receive the holy spirit for it is given for everyone as we ask and when we have the holy spirit we will act acts 18 yes beloved and also the word says as job we read in chapter 42 the word says job as the man was very very rich then he lost everything as satan wanted to try him but again god blessed him this is a rare story we see a person from rags to riches but here man was rich he became poor and lost everything 
and we read in the end in Job 42 that he was blessed by God, a living God, and he was blessed double fold as we read in Job 42 verse 12. Yes, and God had accepted Job as we read in Job 42 verse 9. Job 42 verse 2 says, He can do everything and none of his purpose can be withheld from him. The word says in Job 42, we have to confess, repent and receive the deliverance. The three words, confess, confess our sin. For Jesus Christ came in this world, not for the righteous, but sinners for repentance. Yes, beloved. And he has loved us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Ishu Masiha, Jesus Christ, on the cross for us, that whosoever believeth should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Yes. The victory rests with the mighty God. Proverbs 21, verse 31. So let us be encouraged. Our mighty God has already gone ahead of us and he's already sent us. As we read the mighty word, it is speaking to you and to me, beloved. As we read in Judges 4.14 and Judges 6.14. Yes, when we surrender ourselves in the hands of Lord Jesus Christ, he will carry us. He will carry us even in our gray hair and old age. The words are true. Isaiah 46 verse 4. For from the beginning he knows the end, beloved. Isaiah 46 verse 10. Come what may, do not quit in life. Do not give up in life. For the word says in Jeremiah 1 verse 5, as we read the mighty word, yes, for even before he formed us, in the womb he knew us. Yes, beloved, the words are true. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. James 4 verse 7. Ask whatever you want to ask to our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, for the word says as I and my father are one, John 10 verse 30. You will receive the blessings abundantly, beloved. You will receive the precious blessings. Yes, for there will be showers of blessings. As we read in mighty word, it is speaking in Ezekiel 34, 26. Yes, and you will be surprised when you look back at the rough road that you crossed. Now it has become a road full of flowers and blessings. Yes, for the word says, from this day, I will bless you. Haggai 2.19, the words are true, beloved. Keep your hand on the particular promise. Ask a living God to bless you. And also, let us wear the armor of God as we wake up in the morning. That is Ephesians 6 verse 11. That is the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith, the sword of the Old Testament, New Testament, King James Version Bible, and the shoes or sandals of gospel of peace. Hallelujah. The blessing of the Lord maketh rich, and he adds no trouble or sorrow to it. The words are true. Proverbs 10, as we read in verse, it is speaking in 22. Yes, beloved, the words are true. Yes, every word is there for you and me. Right now we pray for those who are in the sickbed. Lord Jesus Christ, touch my brother, sister, children who are in the sickbed. Heal them in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Yes, and give them good health. Yes, for the wounds and the stripes that is suffered for us, you heal us. Isaiah 53 verse 5. And you took our infirmities and carried the diseases. As we read the mighty word, yes, in the speaking, yes, yes, in Proverbs and also in Matthew chapter 8 verse 17. Yes, everything is there for you and me, beloved. Hallelujah. Also, we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, for every financial crisis be gone from my brother's sister's life as they've come in your presence and the Lord is a refuge and a strength and a very present help in trouble as we read in Psalm 46. And the Lord will help us at the break of the day. The words are true. Psalm 46 verse 4. Yes, and the word is saying to you and to me, beloved, be still and know that I am God. As we read in Psalm 46 verse 10. Everything is there for you and me. Let us keep the sword of the Lord, the Bible, in our hand. The sword of the Lord, let it be there in your hand and in your mouth, the word of God. Yes, that is in Isaiah 42. Yes, it is true, beloved. Isaiah 49, verse 2. And also, it is in Judges 7.20. The word goes also to the prisoners. The word says, God is saying to you that go forth. Yes, for he is there with us. As we read in Isaiah 49 verse 9, And for those who are in the dungeon, 
hiding themselves. Yes, God is saying, show forth yourself. For he can do everything and none of his purpose can be withheld from him. From him. The words are true as we read in Job 42.2. He can do everything, beloved. There is nothing impossible for him. Matthew 19.26, Luke 1, 3, 7. Let us be encouraged, let us be blessed and let us walk in the way God has made for us. Yes, beloved. Let us walk by faith and not by sight. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. Yes, we can imagine a blind man walking in the darkness. Yes, he believes in his living God. Let us believe in Lord Jesus Christ. He is a saviour. He is a salvation. As we read in Revelation 7, 10. Yes, he will wipe away every tear. He will lead us to the living waters and he will be a shepherd. For the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. As the words are true in Revelation 7, 17. And he is the living waters. John 4, 10. Do like and subscribe the channel. Arise and shine. Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel. As God has called me to be a prophetess, evangelist and priest, I am here in his service. I would like to say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24 verse 15. Yes, beloved, everything is there for you and me. Let us be encouraged, let us walk in his way and let us keep his laws, precepts and commands. Yes, beloved, our Lord has loved us. He has loved us with everlasting love. As we read in Jeremiah 31 verse 3. For all your prayer requests, we have the email. You can send us an email, email on the email ID which is given and Jesus Christ will answer our prayer. We are just a medium. Yes, beloved, we will pray for you. Yes, for a living God loves us. Yes, Jesus Christ loves you and me. Yes, beloved. God loves us. As we read in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 13, He will bless us, love us and multiply us. The words are true, beloved. Yes. Also, as the Lord is leading you, you can send us the tithes and free will offering, thanks offering and donations as the link is given in the description. God bless you abundantly, beloved. As we read in Ephesians 3 verse 20. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 27. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.